So one thing a lot of people uh, don't spend enough time on is, is customer feedback. I think a lot of times it's in its talking points or people say these very broad stroke uh, responses of you have to make the customer happy or the customer's always right. I mean, that's great, but those are just ideas. It's not really actionable uh, items that you can use to figure out if you're doing things correctly. Um, the great thing about the, the day and age that we live in, uh, we have tons of tools. Um, it's data being generated all the time that you can actually collect and examine. And uh, one of that, uh, one big, very important uh, form of data is uh, customer feedback. Uh, good or bad, uh, the great thing about customer feedback, it tells you exactly what you need to work on next. It tells you what you can stop working on. And that's the reason why it's really like important. And a lot of times, I would say a lot of companies don't focus on that enough. They focus on, uh, you know, a lot of personal thought of, you know, okay, well, hey, I, if I was using this product, I would do this, or I would want this, I would want that. And the reality is that chances are you're building a, a product or a service that you will never use. You're building it for someone else because you're trying to solve a problem that you may not even run into, or you're assigned a problem that isn't really in your problem space. It really isn't in your, like your universe of things you do in a day. And that's perfectly fine. If you're passionate about it, that's fantastic. You may actually be a dog lover and your customers are dogs. But the reality is that you're not a dog. <laughs> so, you know, if you try to build a dog product for yourself and your customers are dogs, that could be a, a huge problem. I mean, this applies to anything. I mean, if you're making like airplanes, if you're making cars, the same thing. You may not like cars, but you're making them. I know, yeah, that's probably rare, but there are there are circumstances that you're not the customer, and you have to realize that you're not the customer, but you still have to develop a product or deliver a service that people will want to use and keep using, because that's how you make money. That's how you get paid, and that's, that's the reality, and a lot of companies don't focus on that, and the key component, it, it's really no, uh, I would say, like magical formula or anything that's like really uh, hidden or unknown is really common sense. You're making a product for people, listen to what people are telling you, and then react to that. React as soon as possible. When they say they don't care about something, don't spend your time trying to convince them of that. Figure out what they really want. Like focus on the stuff where they say like, hey, I want option A as opposed to option C. But you go, hey, I really think you should take a look at option C. You know what? Option C is great. Put it in the, you know, the closet somewhere. Store it away for a bit. Just hold on to it. You know, you figured out option C. If if a problem that arises that needs needs option C, you already got it mapped out. It's there. But focus on A. If they say they want A. Focus on it. Figure out how to deliver A. Figure out how to, like, improve A in such a way that it gives them the best experience. And that is the way businesses survive. I mean, that's it's. It's no secret, you know, when people like taking customer, you know, feedback and react accordingly, they make their customers happy. And, and that's the, the, you know, the hard part is really one, finding your customers and then figuring out like what bucket your customers uh, fall in. But that's a, that's a different story. But um, a lot of people don't focus enough on customer feedback. Customer feedback is huge. And I wanted to spend a little time talking about that.